targeting 2061, so let's get on with it. Some people talk about the next 50 years as a time in which you can reinvent capitalism, for example, reinvent democracy, reinvent this or that. But when you get right down to it, what the main thing we're talking about is reinventing civilization. The more I focus on the ideas, what I'm meant to do, the more the money finds me. Every man's death affecteth me, for I am involved in mankind. Send not to ask for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. For John Donne, a recommendation of morality. For us, I think, part of the equation for our survival. Thank you very much. Would he be here in 2025? Would I be here in 2025? And will my computer be proud of me before I die? I think it's a, it's a gathering where uh, uh, lucidity is uh, involved. Uh, you see uh, things you've never seen before or thought of before. It was impossible. It has been said by all the Minister of Finance. It is possible and very easy. Over the past 50 years, through deliberate policy, Western governments have put us on a path of economic decline. There are over two million in the hands of kids in roughly 40 countries, roughly 25 languages. So... I've been 15 years involved in evolution and technology, so this is kind of a unique forum to have a lot of ideas and experience in one day. That's excellent. People told us don't build a company on math. Nobody does math. Well, they were wrong, and uh, we just decided we'd build a math company anyway. We have to build an industry that is less polluting and that is based on the progress that science is doing, and the science I'm talking of, of course, is the biotechnology. So what we need to do is understand exactly how you send these cells to school and tell them you make neurons, no hair, no teeth, no nothing else, just neurons, and then the right types of neurons. Sustainability of their investments uh, is also for them important. Mining means a lot of investments uh, in terms of billions uh, of, uh, of dollars. Free health care and guaranteed housing? Are you kidding? Are you serious? Where do I sign up? Strangely enough, it was my son, 24 years old, who last year said, I know part of your job is to attend conferences, events, debates. I, I do communications, but he said, this will be the one that is really different from any type of public event you've attended. He insisted, gave me as a gift the ticket, and I got so hooked last year that this year we came again, the two of us. We asked the question in this TED conference, who's going to save the world? I'm going to argue today that the laws of physics are going to save the world. Not a usual saviour that we think of. This cortical folding is what presents a significant barrier for interpreting the surface electrical signals. Because every single person's cortex is folded differently, very much like a fingerprint. Go forth and innovate and make sure that your governments give you the tools and create the opportunity for you to let your ideas grow and get commercialised and change the world. The things I've heard today are so interesting. I think it will change my life and it will change our lives for everybody over here. It's so inspiring to actually be here and to be able to meet people and um, yeah, it's a totally different dynamic. It's um, very up close. This is the biggest opportunity for the poorest countries in the world to use their own resources to transform their lives from poverty to moderate prosperity. In the past we had, very often and we still have, empty seriousness. <laughs> it's not working anymore. We go for profound lightness. Games and access to your custom data. Of course, you decide to share it, but if you engage in that activity, the game knows who you are, who your friends are, where, where you've been on holiday, where you are right now. Um, how much you weigh. If you had a million dollars or ten million dollars, where would you incent the crazy idea? We are the last generation that will know so little about our health. And this is fascinating. The greatest challenge of the next 50 years, I believe, 
will be to create dignified work for everyone, to satisfy Dr. King's audacious belief, not through handouts and charity, but through market forces. Uh, just a wonderful experience, I think, just to, to see uh, the event in action, uh, you know, and to see so many different types of topics being presented in different types of ways, um, and, and hear the views of experts that are out there. It's fantastic. Tu dis que c'est fini, car pire que ça, ce serait la mort. Quand tu crois enfin que tu t'en sors, quand il y en a plus.